I'm Chief Meteorologist Jacqueline Bennett in the Cron 4 Weather Center with this forecast update. Well, we saw a healthy dose of rainfall out there this morning. In fact, we briefly had a flood advisory issued for the entire Bay Area because the rain just would not stop coming down. Here's a look at some of our higher rainfall totals from the past 24 hours. Nearly two inches of rain in Redwood City. Just under that in Brentwood, about an inch and a half in Mill Valley and Ben Lomond and about an inch and a third in Palo Alto and Richmond. A couple more rain fall totals for you from this morning. Again, largely over an inch of rain for most of the big area. Santa Rosa was about two thirds of an inch of rain, but we saw an inch in Napa, about an inch and a half in Livermore, SFO and in San Francisco. And as we look at storm tracker for radar, the rain is not done yet. Largely, we've been seeing spotty showers out there this afternoon and this evening, and that's kind of what we're seeing right now as we look towards San Rafael, a heavier cell headed that way. Also rain along Ocean Beach and the Embarcadero in San Francisco. But as we look a little bit further offshore, about 90 miles or so offshore, you see this cluster of thunderstorms, plenty of lightning strikes, hail and heavy rain. This is headed from the southwest to the northeast, so it's largely going to impact the North Bay, but it could clip portions of the San Mateo coastline and San Francisco on its way to the northeast. And that's going to happen over the next couple of hours. But as we head into the overnight hours, a second more organized wave of rain is going to move through. So here's a look at satellite and radar picture. The first organized wave is well to the north of us. Here's that cluster of thunderstorms. The core of this storm is still offshore. Here it is, and we're going to continue to see waves rotate around through this into tomorrow and Thursday and Friday as well. So a future cast for by 11 o'clock tonight, showing us the spotty showers continuing through the North Bay, turning a little bit more organized during the morning hours. By 7 o'clock, we're seeing fairly widespread rain, but mainly on the lighter side, not as heavy as what we saw out there this morning as we head into the late morning hours again widespread rain continues all the way from Santa Rosa down to San Jose. Same thing at noon into the afternoon though you notice the shower is turning a lot more spotty and that's the way it's going to stay through the evening through the seven o'clock hour and as we head all the way into Thursday morning. In fact, by your Thursday morning commute, it'll actually be pretty nice compared to what we saw out there today and tomorrow. You can see it's fairly dry through the nine o'clock hour Thursday morning. So the rain forecast in the next couple of days still going to pick up a lot of rain up to three inches in the North Bay, although the three inch mark will likely be for the uh, coastal hills and mountains here. Santa Cruz Mountains, same thing in the valley is generally about an extra inch of rain expected, maybe a little bit more in some spots. As for the Sierra, we're seeing chain restrictions in effect in portions of I-80. This is a picture from CHP and Truckee. You can see the snow on the ground. Highest elevation is going to be seeing snow above 7000 feet. Snow level drops to 6500 feet on Thursday, but by that point, most of the moisture will already be through, so we'll only pick up marginal totals at 6500 feet. But a winter storm warning remains in effect for the entire Sierra above 7000 feet through Thursday at 4 a.m. because we are expecting periods of heavy snow in the higher terrain up to two feet of snow when it's all said and done. This is a flood uh, watch, a flash flood watch the green there on your screen, because again, we are going to see some heavier areas of precipitation as this next wave moves through. So here's a look at your extended forecast tomorrow. Morning rain for the most part, lightning strikes a possibility, especially near the coastline. Scattered showers through the evening, and that will continue into Thursday, Friday, and possibly even into early Saturday before things dry out for the weekend and early next week.